PitchTet shipping software platform integrates quoting and shipping functionality into any software or cloud application. Let's take a quick look at some of the use cases you can support with PitchTet. We'll start here with an ERP system with a few sample orders that we have set aside for, uh, for working on here. I'm going to look at an order here that's got just one product in it, but enough product to be a freight shipment. And we'll make a quick copy of that order. And just save it. And we'll fulfill it. Now, in many different systems, that's the pick activity where you're recording the quantities and locations where you're getting the product. Uh, in this application, you can do it through a variety of different methods. Once you've done that, part of the integration here enables a function called ship where we can activate PasteJet. The integrated functionality then makes it possible to immediately ship, or if I wanted, I can do a freight quote with built-in rate shopping, and the system will look at all the various carrier options in our network. There's more than 80 different carrier services, freight services, parcel services, even 3PL options with literally hundreds or thousands of carriers are available. You can activate the ones that you use, try out different services uh, over time, and really help fine-tune not only the right service for your business, but the cost uh, as well. So here it's selected RNL carriers as the lowest cost provider. We can go ahead and process the shipment with that carrier. And when you process a shipment, it's all real time, all online, integrated through APIs with the carriers. So the transaction here records a summary of the various costs, as well as the price that we're going to charge our customer uh, if we use freight payment terms of prepaid and charge. There's also a whole variety of documents that are created by this, and we could use these to preview the documents that have automatically been sent to the printer. So for example, an automatic bill of lading was created here based on the items in the shipment, so I don't have to worry about that. Capture my pro bill number, capture my bill of lading number. It also can produce shipping labels, so skid labels in this case, because this was a freight shipment, one for each of my pallets. Um, other examples would include uh, various types of packing list documents. We can see what was in each skid. Uh, there are even some advanced documents like UCC 128 labels that we can produce as part of the shipping process. So that's a quick look at a first use case. Now one important detail here, we processed the shipment. We got all of our documents electronically. It's also recorded all the details of the shipment in the ERP system in this case. So we can see the status of this fulfillment order is shipped. The details around it are, have all been recorded. So we can see two pallets, the items and quantity on each pallet. The tracking links are all recorded. We've got the tracking links available for us to click on those if we want to go and track it uh, with the carrier service. In this case, it's RNL carriers. So once this is picked up, it will be visible as part of the tracking process as well. Also notice that the freight cost and the price were recorded. Uh, in addition to the other details here. So now we have a P&L that's available to us to run reports, to look at uh, what it's costing us and also what we are charging our customers. This was also passed on through the ERP system to be billed electronically to customers. So that's a quick look at a first use case. What else can we do with PaceJet? Well, another example, we can take a look at a parcel order the same way. And there's really no difference in the order here. We'll just make a quick copy other than it's different products. So a couple different products here, smaller quantities, it's going to be a smaller order. We'll save this order. Fulfill it like before. Again, just recording locations and quantities. Ship it. This shipment was not pre-designated for a carrier. We would see that if it came in from the ERP system. Let's say we took an e-commerce order and the customer selected UPS ground online. It would already come in set to a carrier. We can use business rules and of course we can use the rate shopping, which is one of the most popular features, to find the best service at the lowest cost for individual shipments. Now in this case, this is a smaller shipment. It's just a couple of boxes. So it's looking at the various parcel options and we find here that FedEx is the lowest cost service. And again, you can see the price and the cost. So like before, we just process a shipment. Same exact way, this is a multi-carrier application. So that means there's one process, one set of tools, one system, one set of data, all integrated with your application for processing shipments without uh, different methods all through one application. So like before, you can see multiple tracking numbers were captured here, an overall summary for the shipment with the costs, the fees, and the price that we're going to charge the customer. Uh, the automatic documents that are generated 
are conditional based on the type of shipment that we're doing, but also rules like customer rules that might be in place for different types of document formats. So you can see here the packing list. We looked at the UCC 128 label earlier. A different document that's turned on for this parcel shipment is a combined packing slip and shipping label document. So we have several different forms of that that make it easy to have one document with everything uh, printed. Uh, could be very convenient for e-commerce orders. That's where this type of form uh, is popular. Now, like before, an important part of this is what happens to the integrated system uh, that's connected to the shipping process here. And we can look in our order management system, our ERP system in here, and see that the shipment is as a status of shipped. Uh, like before, we have captured all the details of the shipment. So we know individual containers, identification for each container, the contents, the tracking numbers unique for each container, as well as the clickable tracking links, the actual weight. All that detail is recorded. Of course, the freight cost and the freight price is also recorded. So you can see in these couple of use cases, we can do full shipping for multiple carriers, lots of different parcel options, lots of different freight options, all the documentation and labels automated, fully integrated uh, cycles, workflows with the ERP system, capture of all the detail that I need. So it scales from whether you're doing hundreds of days or thousands of day, uh, thousands of shipments a day, you can do that all within one system. Okay, so now we've looked at one use case involving a freight shipment, another use case involving a parcel shipment. We used automation of all the various steps, freight quoting with rate shopping. That's very valuable. It can help reduce your cost of shipping, make it possible to scale your business, allow you to use lots of different carriers in the process. One thing that's very unique about PaceJet that was missed in many different shipping applications, especially the previous generation of software applications that were on-premise only, didn't leverage the cloud, didn't have the ability to have APIs and make it possible to connect quoting and shipping functionality in new use cases to, to other systems was quoting. And so what I'd like to do next is take a quick look at a freight quoting use case. Again, all within the same business system that they're using here for our example. So let's take a sales order like we did before and we'll copy it and we'll save it. Now in this case, because of integrated support from PaceJet, we're gonna do a freight quote. And the difference between a freight quote and a shipment is that during the quoting process, you can actually look at the options for shipping way before you actually process the shipment. So as you're talking to a customer and you wanna make a decision, well, okay, I have this order, what are my options for shipping? Well, PitchJet can automatically do the rate shopping, present the lowest cost options along with the transit time details, and then the customer can help you make that decision or you can make that decision. So here we can see that RNL Carriers has the lowest cost option that was automatically determined for me along with the transit time. But I might look at it and say, you know what, I wanna use this other carrier here because it's a four day transit time uh, it's a lot more expensive, but I could make that choice. Or I can look at other options. And uh, let's say I want to use UPS for that shipment and go UPS freight. I could go ahead and select that here. Now, again, the advantage of doing a freight quote like this is now I have a quick look at all my, my costs. I can expect all my options, my different uh, carrier service options, and I can make that selection. And because it's an integrated part of my business system, whether it's a WMS system or an ERP system, I now have a full cost of shipping and the order has been updated to set the method and the cost that I expect as I go forward. So this is a different use case. We haven't shipped, no labels were created, no bill of lading was processed yet. This was just freight quoting. And I could do this for parcel shipments. I can do this for freight shipments. I can connect through the PaceJet API to websites. We have a lot of customers that are doing that. We want uh, many more carrier options out on your website. And you want customers to see a true real cost using real-time connectivity to carriers. That's all part of what you can do with a cloud-based uh, shipping software platform like PaceJet. Now, what happens as your business grows? We've looked at a couple of shipping examples. We looked at freight quoting. But as your business grows and you use more carriers and your volume picks up, you may need some more advanced tools for quickly processing shipments, quickly and rapidly processing shipments. So let's take a look at that type of workflow with PaceJet. So we'll take a quick look here at copying another order. fulfilling that order in the ERP system like we did before, and we'll just save it. Now, as your business grows and your volume grows, you're gonna have a warehouse team that may be focused on picking, packing, and shipping. And so what you can do, whether you use a mobile application or a uh, desktop application, is you can start to leverage tools like PaceJet's shipping workbench. 
And the idea behind the shipping workbench is that as you process fulfillments, record the pics that I talked about there, whether it's on a gun or on a screen, you've got a fast way to go ahead and just scan in an order that you're working on. It'll show you the next order. This one has been preset for UPS, so just go ahead and process that shipment. I don't really need to do a rate shopping in that example, so I'll just process the shipment, get my labels, do the ERP update like we did before uh, in one step. Then I can scan in the next order. So here we can see the confirmation page. Three labels have been printed. All my documents have been printed, so I'm good to go on that shipment. Uh, the next set of boxes become available to me with the material. I scan in the next order. Uh, in this case, it was a different packing slip, and instead of a UPS order, it's a FedEx order. So we can go ahead and ship that one again. We don't need to rate shop it uh, because it's already come in from maybe the e-commerce website, and it was preset for FedEx, so we just process it like before, and uh, all the steps are done. The label printing happens, the transaction with the carriers, the update to the ERP system happens as well. Now you can see here the tracking numbers are unique per box. All of that detail was recorded uh, as well as the automated documents and labels that we looked at before. So part of what you're seeing here is the advanced integration that PageJet supports with different applications allows you to do what we call asynchronous integration. So as other applications process picks that are ready for packing and shipping, they will flow automatically to the shipping workstation where they're queued for the warehouse team to operate on. You can see here uh, freight shipments of various carriers, some that have not been designated, so they'll either automatically be rate chopped or a user can make that decision. And so we can segregate our work, have multiple workstations all set up, each with their own uh, laser printer scale and thermal printers. All of that will happen uh, per workstation. So we can really scale our business to handle uh, hundreds or thousands of orders a day as we grow uh, in multiple dimensions, having volume supported as well as different carriers uh, documents and workflow all managed by the one PageJet system. Now that we looked at some of the use cases you can support with PageJet and integrate into your applications, the last thing I'd like to look at is some of the analytics. Uh, with PageJet now, of course, you have all of your shipments for all of your different carriers all in one application, so you can look at the, the expenses, the volume, the activity across all your different freight, parcel, LTL, or 3PL type carriers. But then there are some specific targeted reports that help you easily uh, go in and look at the details of your shipping activity as it happens. So one example is a shipment summary report. So let's say we want to just look at shipments for uh, the last couple of days, everything that, that's complete. We've got a quick look at all of our shipments with all the details in it, uh, whether it's FedEx, UPS, all of our freight carriers, that's all there uh, in one set of detail. Of course, you can see the containers that were shipped, the weight, the dimensional weight that was calculated, so whether your physical weight was actually more or less than your dimensional weight. Here's an example right here, where dimensional weight is gonna cost more, is gonna make this shipment more expensive than the actual weight, so that's visible to me. Of course, I can see the cost and the price, all that analytics for all of your carriers right there available at your fingertips. You can pop that out to Excel if that's uh, a way that you wanna look at, at that data. So it makes it real easy uh, to do further analytics or reports. You can just grab the, the data as you need it. So that's one quick look at a very popular uh, data analytics in PageJet. Another one that's very unique to PageJet is something we call the shipment savings report. And the idea here is to not only show you what, uh, where you're saving money with PageJet, but where you could be saving money. So if we look at the shipment savings report, we can see here for recent shipments that have been processed, several different sections of data. If we look at the first section, this is where PageJet recommended carriers. We went along with the recommendation and how much we saved. So you can see we saved $900 here with a few set of shipments that I processed in this example uh, by following the recommendation. And you can see a few of the shipments we did in demonstration. So here's a shipment where we recommended Estes over RNL carriers and saved uh, $5 by looking at a whole variety of carriers. So sometimes it's a little bit, but it all adds up over time. Here's an example uh, where we, we recommended a standard service over a guaranteed service, or here's an example uh, where we recommended FedEx over UPS or RNO carriers over Estes and save $86 or $200. So in addition to providing not only the analytics of actual expenses on shipping, this is where we can show you what you're saving and possibly show you what you could be saving. Down here is an example of a set of shipments that do just that. So you can see where a carrier was recommended, but we made a decision to go a different direction. So in this example, the lowest quoted service was Estes. We decided to go UPS. 
and it cost us $11. Uh, and so on and so forth in the examples uh, that are given here. So the shipment savings report is a great way to see uh, not only what you are saving, but what you could be saving if you made different decisions. Well, that's it for this key flyby demonstration and introduction to PaceJet. Key points we would make is that PaceJet is a complete multi-carrier system. All of your parcel, freight, even 3PL shipments for many carriers, all in one application, more than 80 today growing rapidly and adding new direct carrier integrations. All of that activity is in a cloud-based platform that directly connects your business and your business systems to carriers through APIs. So it's all real time, all online, no maintenance, no data loading, no software installations or setup. And because of the modern cloud-based uh, technology in PaceJet, as well as the uh, RESTful API that's part of the platform, it's available to be integrated very easily into any application, any software application or cloud-based application, whether it's an ERP system, a WMS system, or even an e-commerce system. So the multiple use cases we looked at in this quick demonstration include not only shipping execution as you would expect to process your shipments and get all your labels and all of your paperwork with all of the different functionality like packing and rate quoting and all of that, but also Extended use cases that are very important these days, like freight quoting, scan and ship, many other types of, of functionality that are all part of the platform.